The month of August is full of astronomical events. On August 10th, Mercury at greatest eastern elongation, the planet Mercury reaches greatest eastern elongation of 27.4 degrees from the Sun. This is the best time to view Mercury since it will be at its highest point above the horizon in the evening sky. Look for the planet low in the western sky just after sunset. On August 12th, 13, Perseides meteor shower. The Perseides is one of the best meteor showers to observe, producing up to 60 meteors per hour at its peak. Skies should still be dark enough for a good show. Best viewing will be from a dark location after midnight. Meteors will radiate from the constellation Perseus, but can appear anywhere in the sky. On August 16th, New Moon, the moon will locate it on the same side of the Earth as the Sun and will not be visible in the night sky. This phase occurs at 9.39 Universal Time Coordinated. This is the best time of the month to observe faint objects such as galaxies and star clusters because there is no moonlight to interfere. On August 24th, Moon occults Antares. The moon passes in front of the bright star Antares in the constellation Scorpius. This rare event will happen at 10.29 p.m., 2.29 Universal Time Coordinated, and will be visible in the central U.S. and northern Florida. On August 27th, Saturn at opposition, the ring planet will be at its closest approach to Earth and its face will be fully illuminated by the sun. It will be brighter than any other time of the year and will be visible all night long. This is the best time to view and photograph Saturn and its moons. A medium-sized or larger telescope will allow you to see Saturn's rings and a few of its brightest moons. On August 31st, full moon, supermoon, blue moon, the moon will be located on the opposite side of the earth as the sun and its face will be fully illuminated. This phase occurs at 137 universal time coordinated. This is also the third of four supermoons for 2023. The moon will be near its closest approach to the earth and may look slightly larger and brighter than usual. Since this is the second full moon in the same month, it is sometimes referred to as a blue moon. Hope you liked the video. Do like and subscribe for more Universe Science.